Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 25H2 and basically everything that you need to know about this new version of Windows 11 that will be released this year. Of course, in the next weeks, I'm going to start making a lot more videos about Windows 11 25H2. And if you have any other ideas, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. But we are closing in to the release of Windows 11 25H2. So I think it's best to know everything that we need to know and what to expect from this new version. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. For those of you who don't know, Windows 11 25H2 can be previewed already in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. And here, Windows 11 has reached the build 26200.5761 as you can see from version 25H2. But Windows 11 version 25H2 will only be an enablement package. So this means that Windows 11 25H2 will be based off the same platform as as Windows 11 24H2 and the update itself to version 25H2 will be a small update which will just enable all those features that Microsoft already has been testing behind the scenes on the Windows 11 24H2 platform. So it is a small update, the upgrade won't take long if you are on version 24H2 but for those who come from older versions for example Windows 10 or even Windows 11 23H2 as far as I know Microsoft will upgrade them first to 24H2 and then enable the enablement package basically for 25H2 with all the new features. Talking about new features related to Windows 11 25H2, this version will focus a lot on new AI features that unfortunately won't be available for all users. Those features will require Copilot Plus PCs that have the new NPU processors, which will basically include the new Windows Recall, which is a new feature that allows you to see different screenshots and search within the history of your Windows activity, click to do, and also other new features such as AI Super resolution and more. As an example for new features that will be available for all users, we can talk about the new start menu design, which is looking something like this. It's completely redesigned with the pinned apps up top, the all apps at the bottom, and also the new sidebar for the phone link integration, which I think is looking pretty good. Of course, I'm going to make in the next period of time a video in which we'll talk about the new features that we know so far, at least, related to Windows 11 25H2, so stay tuned for that as well. And finally, talking about the release of Windows 11 25 25H2. Here looking back last year to 24H2 and to some information that was provided by Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com, we should be expecting Windows 11 25H2 somewhere in October 2025. Maybe asking, well, why not in September? Well, that's because Microsoft hasn't even released 25H2 on the release preview channel, at least for now. So I think this will be happening next month. The release preview channel will receive Windows 11 25H2. And then maybe somewhere in October, we will see the latest version 25H2 on any computer. Of course, with a gradual rollout as Microsoft is doing for the past few years. But of course, if you meet all the requirements, you should be able to get it as soon as possible. As I've said, I'm going to make updated videos in which we'll talk about different things that I need to do in order to be able to have all the latest updates and features. And if there are certain features that are slow rolling out or anything like that, I'm going to make videos in which I'll show you how to manually enable them. So as a short recap, Windows 11 25H2 will be an enablement package over 24H2, a small update basically that will enable all the new features. We will We'll have a lot of new AI features that will only be available for Copilot Plus PCs, but other than that, we will also have a lot of new features for normal users, and the release date is somewhere in October, most likely, with the release preview channel most likely next month in September. For more information, of course, you can check out the article below in the video's description, and also Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com related to Windows 11 25H2. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel. Tech base until next time. Have a nice day.